Hey guys, it's Kristen, and I'm here for a heart-to-heart -heart video with you. Okay, so I've been asked a lot about personal things that are going on or just personal questions in general, so I just wanted to talk about one question in particular. One question that I get asked on a regular basis is, have you been big your whole life? No. No, no, I haven't. Now, I was a very muscular, super active, very outgoing, taller than the rest of my class, bigger than the rest of my class in third grade. But I wasn't fat. I wasn't big, per se. I was bigger than everybody else, but I wasn't big. Anyway, um, so at the age of 13, I was put on a weight loss pill. And I was on this weight loss pill kind of off and on all the way up until my first year of college. So there's that. Um, when I was 13 and I was put on this, it was more of my family has a lot of people who have diabetes in the family, like a lot of my family members do. And so it was more of a precautionary you know, thing, just to make sure that weight wouldn't be an issue for me. Well, ta-da! <laughs> and I'll explain that, that whole thing later. But, so, my senior year, I met a guy. Ugh, and I just, I love this guy. And I totally wanted to marry him, and I just really thought that it was the deal. Well, my medicine decided it had other plans for me. So my medicine gave me extremely bad mood swings. I mean, the worst mood swings ever. So like one second, I would be extremely happy, super talkative, da 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 da. And then the next minute, I was mad at the world. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. I don't know why it did that, but it did. And I didn't help the situation. Totally not blaming it solely on the medicine because it was a lot of me as well. Um, but yeah so we broke up and when we broke up boom, I just went downhill wicked fast I gained 150 pounds in a year yes your girl was 240 pounds in college well needless to say I quit college and then I ended up you know, going to cosmetology school, doing all that stuff, and I became a teacher, and all that, all that, I started working for a company that I loved, and still love, um, but it was so stressful, and I became an eater of my emotions. So every night, I would go, and I would get, like, two double cheeseburgers, or I'd get a pizza, and I'd eat that crap all by myself. Like, that was, that's how I dealt. And I ballooned to 320 pounds at the end of 2016. 320 pounds. Yep, that was me, 320 pounds. So, whenever I was no longer working for that company, I kind of just stayed around the same weight. I was around 320 for quite a while. Um, then I met someone and ended up losing to about 280 and I was feeling really good you know because I was less than where I was which was the biggest I had ever been and I never wanted to see that number again um however I was stable at 280. I didn't care to lose anymore I was happy there at the time well we stopped seeing each other and I did not go back to food as a means of dealing with my emotions. I actually took that as an opportunity to get my act together. That I am only 30. Well, I'm 31 now, but at the time I was only 30. And I had a lot of life to live and a lot of love to give. <laughs> Sounds like a song. Is that a song? Anyway. Um... So yeah, I just started working on me. And along with that came a bunch of other things, you know, decluttering my house, going through and getting rid of everything that didn't bring me happiness, uh, good vibes only, you know, like, I mean, 
just a lot of stuff. And then I started on the keto diet and I was doing all of these things, try to lose weight. And man, I got down from 280 to 235. No problems, drop of a hat, it was easy. Chump change, that weight. But then I hit that 235 and I was stuck there for seven months seven months like it would go up like three or four pounds and then it would go down three or four pounds and then it would go back up and then it would go back down and I was doing the same thing I was working out every day I was eating under I was eating a thousand calories if not less a day and I just didn't know what was going on so finally I just reached out to a dear friend of mine and I was like listen you're a personal trainer now hook me up, figure out what's going on in this body and correct it so I can see some results. And boy did he, boy did he. Okay, so my personal trainer is my friend Daniel and he set me up with a meal plan for five weeks. He has hooked me up at the gym several times um, for workouts and I just waited this morning. Guess where I'm at? Well, I'll tell you it's not 235. I'll tell you it's not even 230. 229.2. Woo! Yes! It's been long enough. Seven months I've waited for this moment and I'm so freaking excited about it. Like I just don't even, I don't even understand. I don't even understand. But you know what? Apparently taking in more than a thousand calories is like what you should be doing and working out in the proper manner is apparently what you should be doing. So here I am doing what I should be doing and I'm getting results. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> like for real though, man. But not only did the scale move, even like we measured whenever I first began and sorry, I had the paper. And even when we first started, like my mid forearm was 12.5 inches. It's now 12. My biceps were 18.5 inches. That's where I carry the majority of my weight or in my arms. Look at these, look at them, they're huge. But they were 18.5 and now they're 17 inches. Like everything has lowered on top of the number on the scale. Proof is in the pudding. Like for real. I'm very, very happy, very impressed. So I'm glad that I went with a personal trainer, somebody who knew what they were doing and somebody that I trust and completely value their, their opinion, their education. I mean, yes. So if you're struggling and you're having just, you're just having a hard time, hire somebody out. And I would definitely say contact Daniel because he's definitely the one to do that. But I could not be happier. <laughs> I'm so happy. Ah, results. Okay, anyway. So yeah. So that was my good news. <laughs> I've already shared my good news. I didn't even get to like prep for it. There's my good news. I'm 229.2 pounds now after seven months of waiting and trying. I'm finally there. Yay! I beat the plateau. I beat the seven month plateau. <sighs> now for the next goal, 225. I know it's gonna happen, so I'm good. Here I come to 24.9. <laughs> All right, guys, if you haven't already, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I attempt to put out a new video every week. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's a lot less. Um, and if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that little bell that's down there. Um, that'll notify you whenever I do put out a new video so you guys can follow along with me. And thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.